Hey guys, Top Chair Gaming here, coming at you with a sort of discussion video on Yu-Gi-Oh! teams and how they've sort of changed over the years and like their state now compared to how they used to be and like the positives and negatives about Yu-Gi-Oh! teams. Hey, back in the day, in the, in the metagame.com years, there was, there was very defined teams like Team Overdose and things like that that used to top all these events and do very well in the game. So they may just start. They started slacking off and becoming less, less relevant. And for many years, they just didn't exist. Yeah, um, about seven now, maybe eight years ago, when I first started getting into competitive Yu-Gi-Oh, my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh tube channel of all time is JT the Underdog. Um, if you guys even remember that channel, you guys should comment, and that'd be amazing. So um, he was actually part of a team called Team Underdog, and this was actually a pretty strong team back in the day. He would uh, go to like UDE Day and they won the Gold Sark that was over $1,000 or was $1,000 at the time, something like that. And like people would set up their team name at tables and like it would be like this is Team Underdog's table, this is Team So and So's table. Teams were super relevant and there was like rivalries between teams and it was a pretty cool like sort of community that was grouped around teams, which isn't really seen nowadays at all. As of late, I think the teams have started to well, I think they started to get, they started to want to come back. Like we have many different teams starting to come back. We have Zodiac, like the biggest Yu-Gi-Oh group on Zodiac, on Facebook is the Zodiac list. And the team Zodiac has a lot of members in the South Tech, in the Texas area and the Kansas area. They've done really well at events as of late. Uh, the Card Guys, which is a big channel, uh, we've had Aaron's deck featured on there at the Mississippi Regional. Uh, you can go find that on their channel. Um, they they got second place at the at the uh, North American WCQ this weekend, and not to mention the uh, Pro Play Games is a relatively new team. They have they have winners from all over. Um, I think it's just now coming back. And well, I, I think, think the big thing with these teams is that these teams are like huge. Yeah. Like. So Pro Play Games, I assume, has many, many But they're, they're, they're scattered across the United States right. and South America. And I assume that, uh, I mean, the card guys are also huge. Yes. But, like, back then, teams were, like, six to eight people of close-knit group friends, and there were many teams. Now there just seems to be, like, a few big-name teams rather than a lot of smaller-name teams. They're really commercialized because, yeah. like, the, the Zodiac is sponsored by uh, Toronto. Really? And, um, TCG, who's... who's Somebody else is sponsored by TCG Player. I can't remember who it was, but there's the, like the sponsorships are coming in. It's, right. it's it's a lot different than it used to be. Right. It's it's really different. And like ARG, you know, the big company everyone knows about, used to be like a team. It felt more yeah. like a team. Now it's a big business rather than a mm -hmm. team. And like people who are part of ARG, yeah, they have really good players, but it still doesn't feel like a team anymore. Or more like just a large business with a lot of good players. And nowadays it feels like the NFL, like the the NFL, the trading. I've seen play, uh, players flip flop from ARG to play pro play games. I've seen people play, people go from uh, the card guys to pro play back. And yeah, it's just like a, a, a team swaps. It's a team jobber is a big one right now too. But that, that one's that one's like focused around a channel, like mm -hmm. like the card guys is. Really, yeah. It's just that teams now are just so much like there's not as many and it's not as like an important thing like back then it was like oh I'm part of this team we did really well this week it's like oh cool can I join your team now it's more like big companies have these teams and they're expected to do well mm -hmm. and like there aren't any really small like skirmish teams except for like maybe a couple group of friends at locals that say we're part of so and so team but they never really do anything yeah they're just their local their local watchdog yeah team. it's more like a local friend group rather than like a real team um, I guess that's about it. We just want to like share our thoughts on teams in Yu-Gi-Oh! Like current the state of them, um, like they're just not as prominent as they used to be, I think. It's a generalized discussion. Like, like uh, big name teams are more prominent, but like right. the, the most, most tightly knit groups that go to these regionals and YCSs and put out results are, are a lot less prominent. Yeah. So this was uh, the whole team video. Hope you enjoyed. Um, subscribe if you did, like, comment. Uh, this was Top Tier Gaming by YouTube.